Hey everybody, Robert with the RC Archery here. So into day two, summary, I uh, shot a lot, a lot of arrows. Um, just trying to, to work things through and figure it out. So, um, you know, if you follow, followed along on my Instagram channel, you kind of saw the progression of everything, what was going on. I ended up, um, well, I ended up kind of backing up from what I was. I had to knock pretty low. That was the only way that I could get a bear shaft to bullet hole. Um, and even then it was just slightly high. So um, I did that. I shot a fletched arrow after it once I finally got that going and it kicked the back of the arrow. It had really, really bad fletching contact, so it kicked it up pretty bad. Um, I actually backed um, everything back down um, to where the knock is just slightly low, uh, barely low at all, and um, it shot a bullet hole with uh, fletchings. So um, this will probably be one of those bows that have a little bit more picky and finicky uh, knock travel, so it needs the fletchings to correct it. Um, painful as that may be, that, that looks like what it's going to be, um, which in the long run, um, depending on what you want to do, I mean, some people want bullet holes on paper, uh, me personally I don't, um, I don't want it to be really bad, um, but I do like a little high lift hair, that seems to be where I get the best group tuning, um, so really with this bow, it's just going to be, um, you know, a French tune and a, a group tune, and that's what I'm going to do. Once I get that done and, and I get it shooting the best that I can through uh, you know, group tuning and French tuning, just make sure everything is lined up that way um, and just kind of fine tune the blade angle and everything. Um, I'll shoot a bear shaft, just see where it hits um, out of my own curiosity and um, you know, just kind of use that as a reference and have an idea on it. But overall, um, I got everything set up on it. So I've got stabilizers on the bow, front and back here. Um, balance is really good, you know, like I said yesterday, bow balance is extremely well um, just without them. And having them, it, it helps to, uh, uh, you know, counteract the, you know, the, the pressure that I put into the grip and everything. So it tilts the top of the bow to the right, so that counteracts for it and, and helps balances it out. Um, overall, I, I, I'm really impressed with the bow. I really like it. I, I like shooting it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of shot reaction like what I'm used to with my podiums and then the other target bows that I've had in the past But honestly um, It doesn't seem to be bothering me too bad right now So I'm gonna see long term kind of how that works how I like that um, and how it shoots um, I've got Different ideas over time that I've had with it all to to kind of have some theories on it based off some uh, bows that I shot you know in the past the alpha elites and um CRX and just different things like that so um, we'll see how it goes and pick back up day three tomorrow uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I've been shooting everything just how it is here um, playing with draw link just trying to get everything fine-tuned I don't have a peep on here yet don't have any knock sets in there yet just a loop being put on it so tomorrow I am um, I'll probably take it out and just do some aiming drills with it float drills um, so if you've seen my, my YouTube videos where I just uh, float on target and just see what my float pattern looks like, I'm gonna do that first. Fine tune the draw length and get that exactly perfect the way that I want it. Once that's done and um, everything is set up, um, creep tuning wise and everything too, um, you know, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my knocking points, tie a new loop on there, um, probably tie a kisser button in on there, and um, you know, just get everything finalized. And, uh, start shooting it and tuning it from there and see how it goes. I uh, appreciate you following along and I will have another update tomorrow as well as just, you know, pictures and videos and some things along the way. Appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow.